One of the media and advertising specialists that I work with recently introduced me to write on optics. Uh, the first one I did was a small red dot and he caught me saying written, it's right on and thus far they are right on. Now I got a BCA here, a 308 Bear Creek Arsenal and you know, was working on that and I wanted to make sure and put a sweet optic on it to maximize the accuracy potential because you know, I'm kind of new to BCA and a lot of people have been talking about it and I want to reach up there at 500 yards and I wanted a high quality optic. So right on sent me their five conquer five to 20 by 50 with BAF illuminated MOA reticle to test. Um, they also sent this cantilever, the 34 millimeter with the Picatinny QD mount. It is a sweet mount. Now I have to say both look and feel outstanding, high quality. Let's see what we can do with them and what they can do for this Bear Creek Arsenal 308. Will the BCA be right on at 500 yards with right on? Nice. All right, we're gonna give her a go here. <laughs> nice. There you I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now the five conquer is not an entry level scope guys. You know, this is an upper middle to high class level optic with some outstanding glass. Now this is going to be one of those, we get what we pay for deals, but we also may get and find out that it's got serious bang for buck or super high QPC, the quality versus the cost ratio. Okay, so take a quick look at the specs and tech so we know what we're starting with and we can get down to business. Just want to show you real quick. I've got the right on scope mounted on there and Wheeler had sent this. Little Torx wrench kit, uh, this is pretty nice. I mean, these are all basically the, the most common uh, inch pounds of torque that we're gonna use and that. This is just quick and easy. Nice. Let's get it zeroed on the BCA here and find out just how it performs and what it can do on this entry level rifle. Okay, so I have their 34 millimeter cantilever QD mount in black for mounting. This is one high quality mount, guys. Um, it's made in Italy for those that, that that's important. Um, it has some really nice features, but the one that I'm most interested in on this other side here is the QD can I take this off and put it right back on and can I keep zero? Can we bang on steel at 500, take this off, um, you know, have some fun with the optic, put it back on and can we still hit the steel at 500 yards? Let's see if I can show you the FOV that I'm getting. We'll give it a You can see there the groups. So this is what I'm seeing at 100 yards. Okay, so let's check out our FOV at four and 500. We'll do the best we can here. So this is one of the advantages of having a first focal plane. Well, 
that is really dropping. I've got it at the 12. So we were using the 12 mark up there at 500 and we were, you were pretty much spot on. I re-zeroed, there's three screws here, okay, I loosened those, I took the top off, I put it back at zero because we were zeroed at 100 yards using the ammo that I want and then I put it back on at zero. Now because, I want to test something here, because we're 12 MOA, I put it on zero and then I dialed up 12. Actually, I went 12 and a half. That was after I put the cap back on and put the screws back in. Now, I haven't done anything over here, but we should be, we'll find out, spot on using the crosshairs so I'm not holding over. Then all I got to do is just dial back down to zero when I want to be back on target at 100. Parallax here, I really like the parallax, okay? You notice it just has infinity in a dial, okay? You just simply turn this until your sight picture is crystal clear. I actually like that a lot better than having the numbers. Um, and and for, the, for a lot of people, the numbers are just going to confuse them. And then the on-off, and I like having an off in between all the illumination settings. It makes it easy to, to turn it off rather than have to crank all the way through all the settings, which a lot of them have. Okay, one thing I'd like to test because this, uh, this scope base, it looks awesome. We've got, um, we've got our bubble under there. Okay, we got our level under there. I really like that. This is a solid base. Guys, it is a really nice base. It's a quick detach. We've just got one spot here. I want to put it to the test. Let's take this off. Okay, one, two, three. We're four. Let's take it off, put it back on, and then see if we can hit the steel again at 500. Okay, moment of truth here. And uh, I also got my long shot going. I'll show you that. Um, need to really use that a lot more. Okay, so I got the PPU, the M80 in here. We've got her dialed up to 12 and a half. Let's just see, uh, adjust since I messed with my parallax. And let's... <laughs> nice. There you go, guys. Nice. Okay. <laughs> that is right spot where my dot was. I kid you not. All right, let's try uh, the 12-incher. Nice. Got a little bit of crosswind. Nice, guys, that's a 12-inch target. I got to say, I'm really impressed. Now, I was not sure if I was going to torture test this. I did ask permission, and of course, I have poor impulse control. Let's do it. Hey, folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel. Hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing, not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button. Keep the reviews coming. Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend. At the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deal subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I find them 
It costs you nothing. Unsubscribe at any time. I have saved folks hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Don't take my word. Read the comments. It works. It's awesome. And it costs nothing. If you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. It Check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there. Good food and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. Oh, that was a hard fall. It would <laughs> it landed and busted up my wasp wasp catcher. Kidooki. Well, man, I tell you, it always makes me cringe dropping an optic like this. But uh, all right, we're committed now. This isn't going to be a full IPX7 rating, but uh, you know, I mean, it's it's going to give it a test. We'll give it a half an hour. All right. Yeah, it just always makes me nervous with a nice optic. Well, unfortunately, um, it did take on water, so that's uh, that's gonna kind of put a halt to uh, to the torture test. I'll uh, I'll reach out and see what they advise. Okay, so that is 10 shots before torture test, and that's taking it off. Okay, so realistically, I'm going to drop this from head height. And now, we're going to submerge it. All right, we're going to give her a go here. Oh, got me. <laughs> we're going to give her a half hour. It's not quite a meter, but it's pretty close. Okay, moment of truth. Okay, so as far as I can tell, we have passed. Okay, let's, uh, let's take it while it's wet and throw it in the freezer and get it frozen good and solid. Hey, it's it's good and frozen um, to really find out um, if it failed we got to wait for it to thaw out so we'll get it out here in the Sun get it warmed up and if it passed we're gonna put it right back on and see what we can do okay so we torture tested it you saw it we put it right back on exactly where it was at I've got some more of that federal Let's see, uh, let's see what kind of group we get after that. Nice. That's five shots after the torture test and putting it back on. Special thanks to Federal. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support my channel. Be sure and hit that sub button. Really does help the most. Like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people. Educate everybody to shooting and gun safety. Every time we're on the range, okay, we're getting some trigger time. We're ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So be a safe and responsible gun owner. There you have it. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. 
If so, help support my channel. Come check me out under Beyond Seclusion. I review anything and everything there. A lot of stuff that's not on gun.deals. Anyway, until next time on gun.deals, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. For that matter, educate anybody and everybody that's around you to shooting. Also, when we're on the range and we're getting some trigger time, we're ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So make sure that you're a safe and responsible ambassador.